hi guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl az ne williams how are you all doing hope you guys are good hope you guys are fine if you're new to this channel kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video okay guys so i am going to shamelessly beg you guys to please watch my ads i beg i beg i beg if you people want me to kneel down for you i beg because basically that is one of the ways if i one of the most important ways that you can support me support my hustle unless you want me to go back to my village you know you do not really want that thank you guys so very much okay guys so the video you saw was new thanking you guys for all the love you showed him yesterday because yesterday was his birthday and all that and he says the party continues today yes guys and still on neil and princess issue a lot of people have come um a lot of people were of the opinion that ebuka was taking sides with prince now um this came these whole opinions of people came after the whole 45 minutes of you know trying to get neo to you know apologize to prince for his statement and a lot of people were like ah ebuka was taking sides and all that what do you guys think do you think that ebuka was taking sides with prince or do you think that ebuka was just being ebuka because i know a lot of times when we thought that ebuka was taking a particular housemate's side you know and a lot of us you know came at him for that do you think that this was the situation and um some people were of the opinion that because prince is his mentee that is why he was taking prince's side i'd love to hear your opinion let me know what you think about this in the comment section okay guys so your girl the one and only queen of highlights messy ak has recently launched her messy ak foundation and her foundation is basically a way of her giving back to the society according to her she says the foundation will cater to the less privileged will help people that are you know um in business small business owners and we also help people that have health challenges and all that in fact currently um from her recent post she said she's got five million naira to support struggling small businesses so if you know you have a business you're about to start or you already have a business what are you waiting for go to her page and check the last post you might be one of the lucky people who gets funded yes guys now away from messy ak your girl the one and only dora yes ottt1 yesterday she launched her summer collections of the mfc that is my full chest lingerie and i really 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 love this collection because it caters to all sizes and all body types and it has the swimwear the loungewear and um i think yeah the body suits and it featured this time around it's not dora it actually featured her younger sis Ruth. So um, if you are an explorer and you've got money to, you know, spend on this summer because you got to, you know, enjoy yourself in Dubai on a yacht in a tongue. <laughs> if you know that video, you know what I'm talking about. So you go and get your own MFC set. Yes, guys, away from Dorothy, let's go over to the one, the only icons, President Lecon. Like Lecon is making waves like silent but powerful moves yes guys so lecon got to perform all over me yes on youtube and guess where guess where guess where grammy awards yes the um grammy awards i mean that's 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 huge that's huge boy has gone international and i'm super super excited for him i am happy for this growth i mean from here it's just going to be upwards never backwards yes congratulations to him so if you've not seen that video go check it out on youtube at the grammy awards page is there where he was performing i mean he did a great job guys he did a great job now still on some congratulatory mood your girl kaisha posted this and said and i said Said yes and everybody was busy saying congratulations and everything now when a girl posts this the first thing in your mind is oh she's got engaged but now with everything going on on social media i am tired of saying you know congratulations and then coming out and somebody is telling me it's a prank so please kaisha tell us i mean i'm super excited if it's not a prank 
if it's actually true that she said yes i mean she will be the second housemate from this season at first it was lucy you know flaunting that ring now kaisha coming to say oh she's got the ring or oh, sorry she said yes i'm super excited i hope and pray it's not a prank because if it is a prank i will not be happy yes guys so away from kaisha let's go over to lilo now lilo used her own hand by her safe for her safe to buy market from the people of twitter of uar yes so what did she do so lilo came out i mean nobody asked her this question nobody asked for her opinion she just came out and said stop wearing fake things especially shoes bags and wristwatches it's annoying and disrespectful to people who pay a lot for the original ha voila okay when i saw this there were questions on my mind but um a lot of people started dragging her i mean trust nigerian twitter now no not nigerian twitter nigeria does not have twitter uar twitter you know they were dragging her and everything then somebody commented and said lilo 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 how many times did i call you if malivelihood did i pronounce that correctly let me try again malivelihood okay catches you with that fake rolex so this person was implying that lilo was wearing uh, or is wearing a fake rolex now lilo responded and said basically she did not really say anything first she just um posted a picture of her rolex with the serial number the model and everything and she now said you owe me an apology so people that used to wear rolex um does this prove anything Basically, she's trying to tell you that this is a real Rolex that she is wearing. So, um, I've not worn Rolex yet, but I will wear it. But people that are wearing it, so let me know, you know, if this is an original or not. But basically, she's trying to tell you that, you know what, this is an original. And for you to say I'm wearing a fake, you owe me an apology. Now, let's go into this, what I think about, you know, this whole Lilo situation. Quite frankly, when I saw it, I was like, Lilo, who asked you? I mean, the country is hard enough if people want to um wear fake let them wear it it's not enough your business how is that disrespectful to you i actually thought she would say it's disrespectful to the people that are making the original at least then it would make sense because if i am making an original phone and somebody is making a phony of it and somebody else is buying and the market is moving more than me that is making the original yes i will get offended at least then it will make more sense right but she's saying oh it's offensive or it's disrespectful to the people that are buying it i don't know nobody forced you to buy it seriously everybody's buying according to their pocket so you cannot regulate what people spend their money on so for me i just didn't feel like it came out right i don't really think i don't know she just used her hand to subscribe for premium dragon from the people of twitter and she even went ahead in fact has matter because of vpn her matter rich us twitter and people were even dragging her even us citizens were dragging her um some even said oh you spend that kind of money to buy stuff from these people only for them to call you some kind of name once you leave the store and everything which i quite understand you know i really really understand it this her tweet i don't know i feel it's peer pressure and funny enough see uh, another thing that came into my mind you know me now you know ever since the season um sorry this reunion a lot of people have been saying oh nengi is high class babe you have to have the facilities to data and everything you know a lot of people a lot of you will be like isn't it what concerns nengi is in this just hold on let me let me finish my analysis now a lot of the guys you know have been saying it from bright o to neo to prince to um even also at some point yeah i think they implied it or something like that so basically everybody has been calling um nengi the high maintenance girl the high class babe that you've got to have facilities with the high taste and everything now could it be that lilo had to come out with this indirectly to tell us that she too she's a high maintenance babe i mean for her to even post that relax thing and you all know nengi got a rolex some time ago you know trying to say okay i've got a rolex i'm a high maintenance babe i'm a high class babe you know i need some facilities this is the kind of the life i am living i don't know if it makes sense but this somehow i try to relate it because big brother niger children trust me they don't just come out sometimes most times they don't just come out to say stuff sometimes what they say is interwoven with some event that happened or had had 
has already happened you know with their fellow exiles mates that is you know another way i've seen it maybe she's trying to tell us that oh you guys i'm, I'm on the same pedestal with nengi on stuff and nobody's really arguing that i mean i've already known that N lilo is um from a rich home i've said it here before so um i don't know i don't know what even came into her to say all that or you know i don't really know what it is that came into her so guys let me know what you think about this lilo situation do you agree with my analysis of her trying to you know measure up not really measure up like trying to say okay i'm still i'm part of the high class base or something like that or do you think this is just peer pressure or maybe she just wants attention you know sometimes people just you know want attention and come out and tweet rubbish because they know people you know will um talk and react so to get their names on the trend table let me know what you think about this in the comment section that's it from me guys thank you so very much for being part of my channel if you've not already subscribed kindly click on the subscription button click on the notification bell to let you know whenever i post any new video till i come your way again I remain your darling girl, Azine Williams. Have yourself a beautiful day ahead. Bye, guys!